Eighth graders, this is Mr. Garvey coming at you. I want to talk really quick about um, taking notes. And I'd like to give you all a specific note-taking system that you can use. It's a note-taking system that I use in order to take very effective notes. And this is called the Cornell Note-Taking System. So, you might hear me um, refer to Cornell notes, or I might in the future say, hey, I would suggest taking, um, taking Cornell notes on this. And this is what I'm talking about Cornell notes, okay? First of all, um, you have a piece of uh, paper here, okay? So, this kind of looks like a, like a normal piece of loose leaf paper, right? So, what you're going to do is you're going to divide this paper into three sections. Now, in a lot of pieces of paper, like loose leaf paper, um, they have the line on the left-hand margin that's already there. You can use this line if you want to, or you could draw another line next to it. For this purpose, I'm going to use the line that's already drawn there, okay? And what you do is, you, um, since we already have a line down the left-hand side of the margin, I'm going to draw another line across the bottom of the paper. And if this is a loose-leaf piece of paper, I want to leave maybe about five to six lines. So this line isn't like, it's not halfway up, and it's not almost all the way at the bottom, but it gives you the opportunity to write one to two, three, maybe, uh, maybe three sentences at the bottom of the paper. So I'm going to now draw my line across the bottom of the paper. Again, leaving maybe, we'll call it four to six lines at the bottom, okay? Now, for this purpose, I'm going to number these sections just so you understand um, what e which each section is and what to do in each section. But when you're taking notes, you don't have to number each section if you don't want to, okay? So I don't number the sections, and if you know what the sections are, you don't really need a number. But for our purpose today, we're going to call this one section one. This will be section two, and down here, we're going to call this section three. Now, the way the Cornell notes work is that in the first section, the main section, this is where you write your main notes. So, if um, we're talking about uh, what we've been talking about in European explorers coming to the Americas, we might have some notes in here about the Aztecs. And we might have some notes about the Inca. We might have some notes about the Maya. This might be notes about like food that they eat or clothing that they wear or the type of housing that they have. We might be making notes on all sorts of things like that. So here's more notes on food. Here's some notes on clothing. Obviously, the notes that you are writing in here would be a lot more specific. You wouldn't be writing down like clothing, food. You would be writing down types of clothing that they had. Just anything that you think is important, and especially anything that you think might be on the quiz. That's very important. If you're learning something and you stop and you think for a second, I think that this is something that might be on the quiz, you should be writing it down. And this is how you should be writing it down. So this is where we have all of our main notes in the first section, okay? And I can see that the green isn't showing up very well on that screen, so I'll switch back to my blue. All right, on the second, uh, in the second box, this is where you are going to, you're going to write down what the topics are that you're talking about. So in this, we're talking about housing for the Aztecs, the Inca, the Maya, we're talking about the food, the food they wore, the clothing that they wore, so in this column, we might write down something like Native American Resources. All right, that American Native Resources, because that's what we're talking about. We're talking about the resources that they use. And another thing that we're talking about is the Maya, the Aztec, and the Inca, right? So we also might make a really quick note that we're talking about Maya, Inca, Aztec right there. Okay, now at the very bottom, the third section, this is where you write a summary. 
you write a summary of what you're talking about. So at the very bottom in that third box, I might write down one sentence that say, Mr. Garvey's lecture talked about the types of natural resources that the Maya, the Inca, and the Aztec use. Simple, right? You might want to, you, you could add a little bit of detail in there that they taught you, you say that they used like natural resources and not man-made resources or something along those lines, okay? So now, when we go back through our notes and you're looking at this, you can really quick, if you got a whole bunch of pages of notes and you're like, oh my God, hey, where's all that stuff about the natural resources that those early Native Americans used? You can just look in these columns instead of trying to read all of your notes, just look over here to the left, find that topic. You can then read the notes that you wrote down about that topic. And you can flip through really quick and you can also look for summary sentences too, okay? So that is Cornell Notes, the Cornell note-taking system. We'll call these Cornell Notes. Use the system, take notes. It'll make you smarter, okay? Hope you've enjoyed my video, 8th graders. Have a great day.